So we'll start now, but not really. Just something came to mind um, about cum, what I've been saying about cum, the space that our awareness inhabits. So I did a um, an online session hosted by Zogchenbera last Thursday. Someone else did the setup, and so they set it up in such a way that I could see everybody. I could see the, the people who were following, and there was 36, I think. So I had this sea of faces in front of me, which was wonderful. It was actually, uh, yeah, it was good. But also because I wasn't used to it, it was quite distracting. And I realized the reason why I was finding it distracting was because I was um, looking at the faces going to, I was going there instead of having a very strong sense of presence and including the people in my awareness. I hope that makes sense. I was completely forgot myself and where I was. I just was in the screen instead of having a strong sense of presence and including them in that. When we're talking about Kum, we're not saying, oh yes, I'm in Alaska or I'm in India or South Africa. If your mind is there and your body is somewhere else, that's not what I'm talking about. So we have a sense of self where our body is, but it, it grows, it includes everything. If you have that sense of self and then you think about the current situation in India, it touches you deeply without overwhelming you. You really, it's a quite a different sensation to really getting concerned and worried and being lost in a certain situation or circumstance. Whereas if you're a strong sense of presence and include it, then that's more like come. So that might make sense for some people. I hope it does. So let's begin session eight, the final session. I've just have to, I have to begin by saying thank you very much to all of you for your donations, your feedback, your questions and suggestions, all equally valuable and helpful. Thank you. This week, someone said that when they came to a session, in a certain mood, which was off, has often been bad or sad, they always finished feeling quite different. So that's wonderful, of course. I know this person understands that Kumye is not some happy, clappy trend. It's a lot deeper than that. Of course, it changed the way how we feel, which is our well-being, but it also affects us on a, on a very fundamental level or can do. We start seeing ourselves more in sense of kum, the space that our awareness inhabits, and ye, the interaction of energies within that. And when we do that, it changes our, our whole perception, changes the way how we see ourselves and the world. A way to continue after we finish today <laughs> um, would be to revisit some of the sessions we've done. They're all on um, my YouTube channel. You don't have to wade through a whole session. You might not have an hour or you may, might not want to spend an hour going over things you've already seen, but there might be a particular favorite exercise. So underneath each session on the YouTube channel is a description of what's in that session. So you can just cut straight to the exercise you want to do. So today, let's change something fundamental. Let's um, go a little deeper. So we want to release holding, have the energies flowing, and enter an openness that is always there, but just tuning into the openness. We'll begin with lightning thoughts. Head coming down as you exhale, chin coming down towards your chest, back of the neck opening and lengthening. Inhaling, head coming back up to the center. Exhaling, chin high. Inhaling, back to the center. 
Exhaling, chin down. Inhaling, chin up to the center. Exhaling, continuing higher. Inhaling to the center. And pause there for a moment. Take a few easy breaths. Did you notice today we began an exercise without first the stillness? Makes such a difference. I got too excited, I forgot the stillness. I think we're coming there now though. Feel your connection with the earth. Spine, alert yet relaxed, sitting upright, open to the sky above, breath comes to the foreground, breathing through nose and mouth. Let's do one more, chin down, exhaling. Shoulders low, relaxing. Inhaling. Feeling the movement. Exhaling, chin high. And chest and throat open. Shoulders low. Inhaling. Chin down to the center. Exhaling left ear to left shoulder. Inhaling back to the center. Moving with feeling. Exhaling to the right. Inhaling to the center. And to the left, exhaling. Inhaling center, feeling the breath. Exhaling right. Inhaling center. To the last time to the left. Shoulders relaxing, low. Inhaling center. Last time to the right, exhaling. Inhaling center. Our attention in the body, feeling the difference. Connection with the earth, hands resting on our thighs or knees, spine alert yet relaxed, chin in, back of the neck aligned with the spine, jaw relaxed, mouth slightly open, tip of the tongue lightly touching the palate of the top front teeth. And in the beginning, we might like to have our eyes closed. So our attention can more easily come into our whole body, feeling all seven gestures of the posture.
But maybe you feel quite settled, you can open your eyes already without losing the connection with the feelings and sensations in the body. We'll do head rotations. So head comes forward to the left shoulder, back, right shoulder and forward. We're moving slowly and smoothly, slowly to give time for any tension we meet and greet to melt. And we move smoothly. So we're giving equal attention to each part of the movement. And the next time your head is forward with your chin toward your chest, just pause there for a moment. And then begin rotations in the opposite direction. Next time your head is forward with your chin towards your chest, just pause there for a moment. And then we bring our head upright so we're back in the sitting posture. It's like training a puppy dog. Repeatedly, we bring our attention into the body, to the feelings and sensations in the body. Some days it's easier than others. Okay, we're going to do three very special exercises for the remainder of the session. They're all standing exercises, but we will sit in between. The first one is not in the book, but it is official. It's an exercise that Tarsan Tulka Rinpoche does with his students when they're doing retreats. It's called bending in four directions. And when we're doing bending in four directions, we can be aware of our connection with the earth. We can be open to the sky above us and the world around us. So we're conscious of the space we're moving in and the space we are moving. Let's stand. So you need enough room to lift your hands above your head and lean to sides and bend forward from the waist, bending in four directions. 
So first we begin by feeling that our connection with the earth. We're familiar how to do that now. Let's remind or let's renew that. Breathing into our belly. Breathing out through our feet. Feeling our weight distribution equal between left and right and front and back. Slight bend in the knees, navel into the spine. The knees bent and the navel into the spine. We remember that to support our spine when we bend forward from the waist. Connect with the breath. And then let your hands begin to float up in front of you. So our attention is in the hands and the fingers as they move through space. The different feeling tones. We sense the space we're moving in or moving through. Until our hands are above our head, palms facing forward. And then we lean out to the left side. Our hips move, might move out to the right a little. And the right side of our body is long. Our hands are close to the head. It's not one hand, sorry, arms. Arms are close to our head. Coming up, reaching up as we come back to the center. And to the right. Left side of our body is long. The hips go out to the left a little. Coming back to the center, reaching up as we come to the center. Now we're going to lift the chin and the chest, the arms spread wide, chin high, chest high, mouth falls open, breathing evenly through nose and mouth. Head coming forward until we're looking straight ahead. And then we bend forward from the waist, breathing evenly through nose and mouth. We bend forward from the waist until our back is parallel with the ground, if you can do that. Otherwise, just bend forward a little and reach forward with your hands and back with your pelvis. With your back parallel to the ground. So you're at a right angle with your legs. Hands forward, pelvis back. And then straightening the upper body and your hands coming down. So your hands moving down as your upper body straightens. Until we're standing, relaxing with our hands by our sides. So that's bending in four directions. First repetition. So now we have a sense of the exercise. Maybe we're not able to do it exactly as described, but you do your version of it. Body, breath, awareness. Those three, bring those three together. So when we move, there are feelings and sensations. Our attention is there, we bring the breath there also.
Your connection with the earth, how is that now? Are you open to the sky above? Arms coming up. Hands coming up, moving through space, breathing evenly, relaxing our belly, relaxing the back of the neck, chin in a little, don't stick your chin out. Feet flat on the ground, reaching up, exhaling. So we feel our connection with the earth and we're reaching into the infinite sky, breathing evenly through nose and mouth, leaning to the left, be aware of the world to the left side of us, the space on the left side of our body. Reaching as we come back up, reaching up as we come back to the center. And to the right side, let our attention go into the space on the right side of the body. Reaching as we come back up to the center. Let the chin come up and the chest high, throat and chest opening, mouth folds open, breathing evenly through nose and mouth. Look into the depths of space. Head coming back forward until we're looking straight ahead. Feel that movement as the head moves slowly forward till we're looking straight ahead. And then bending forward from the waist. When the back is parallel with the ground, push your hands forward and your pelvis back, your head and your hands forward. Be aware of all the space in front of you. And then with your pelvis pushing back all the space behind you. And then very slowly, straightening the body as your hands float down. Our attention is in the body. Feeling the breath as it is. Maybe the rhythm of the breath has changed. The exercise may have changed the breath. We let the breath settle. So we're going to do bending in four directions the third time. And it's important we look forward to this. So we're smiling already. There are three different versions. You can stay standing and visualize. As I'm describing the, the movement, you can follow it in your mind just standing still. Imagine or visualize your hands moving up, left, right, back 
forward. Second one is you do your own version of it based on your, your own capacity, how you feel works for you. And the third version, you follow my description. And you're maybe a little bit more than last time. No straining, no paining, but sensation and effort without the strain or the pain. Definitely no strain or pain. Just finding that balance between continuous challenge and letting go. So one of those three versions should suit you. So you should be smiling about it. Can you feel the smile in your body? We don't start from a frozen position. We're not stiff. In a way, we're already moving, flowing. Three, two, one, arms coming up. Relax your belly and your throat. Feel your weight of your feet on the ground, your connection with the earth as you reach up with your hands, touch the sky. Touch the sky to your left. If you can't touch the sky with your hands, touch the sky with your energy. Touch the center of the earth with your energy. Coming up, touching the sky as we're coming up. And to the right. Touching the sky to the right. Coming up to the center. And then chin up. It's just the upper back that arches. So the chest comes high, throat opening, mouth falls open, breathing evenly. Looking into the depths of space seeing the depths of space. A light attention on the back of the neck as the head comes forward, moves slowly forward until we're looking straight ahead. And then bending forward from the waist, arching forward, reaching out as we go down, until the back is parallel with the ground. You can interlace your fingers if you like, bring your palms together, interlace your fingers, push your hands forward and your pelvis back. So head and hands forward, pelvis back, and you may lower a little in this position. And then releasing slowly, release your hands, and then standing, slowly straightening, arms coming down. As we stand here, can we be aware the feelings and sensations in the body. And we can expand those feelings and sensations beyond the body.
Let them ripple out into the world. We bring our experience back to the chair. There's definitely sensations and feelings in your body now. Maybe some thoughts too. I like, I don't like, wishing it was different, liking it very much. Bring your attention back into your body. Let your mind be nurtured and nourished by the feelings and sensations. This hunger for distraction, looking outside of ourselves for a moment, we just drop that. We're completely well in our being, as it is. Even if in your body there's some tension, some discomfort, it's held blocked energy. I'm bringing kindness and interest there, giving it space. It can change, it can become less dense. Maybe not today, but over time. If you have your eyes closed, try opening your eyes with a soft gaze. We still remain, attention is in the body, but our eyes are open. And we're seeing, but with a soft gaze, a panoramic way of seeing. Seeing everything but nothing in particular. That way we can enjoy it all. Bring your experience back to the standing position. OK, 
Connection with the ground. Connection with your breathing. Wholesome vitality. We've done wholesome vitality before. So we stand with our feet a comfortable distance apart and turn the toes out slightly. So toes out just a few degrees. Hands come up to our side so the wrists are close to the armpit. Relax your shoulders. Relax your arms as much as you can. This is quite an awkward position. Don't press the sides of your body too much. Inhale through nose and mouth. Relax your belly, tighten your buttocks a little. Bend the knees slightly. And then exhaling. We straighten the legs and slide the hands down our sides. And as we stand, we just let any responsibility, any burdens we're carrying fall away from our shoulders. Knees a lot locked, belly relaxing. If this isn't your favorite exercise, just silently repeat to yourself in a very convincing way. This is my favorite exercise. And smile. Arms coming up. Hands coming into the sides. Close to the armpits. Fingers pointing down. Can you relax your shoulders and your arms? Maybe your hands go a little higher. Chin in. Inhale through nose and mouth. Hold it in the chest between your hands. Relaxing the belly and clenching the buttocks slightly. Bending the knees. Exhaling, straight, legs straighten, hands gliding down the sides of the body. Attention in the body. Give everything space. To let it interact within the body and expand beyond the body. Bring your chin in a little. Attention to the throat as you inhale. Relax your throat and the back of your neck as you exhale. And with that, you can imagine any blockage in the neck, the throat is released. The energy can flow evenly into the head and out of the head.
three is our lucky number. Let's do hold some vitality a third time. Again, if three feels too much, you do your own version of it, or you just stand and visualize. You can cheer us on from a standing position. And when we do the in-breath this time, and we bend the knees, bring your feeling into the chest where the breath is. Don't be thinking, how long can I do it? You know how long. It's only going to be about five seconds or so. So when we inhale, of course, there might be too much to think about, relaxing barely, clenching buttocks. But just as we bend, feel the breath in your chest and feel the breath as you exhale. Hands coming up. You can do it all. Don't worry about all the instructions. It can all happen at the same time perfectly. Inhaling through nose and mouth. Hold the breath in the chest. Relaxing the belly, clenching the buttocks. Feeling the breath as we bend the knees. Feeling the breath in the chest. What is that feeling? Exhaling, standing, hands gliding down. Vitality in the body, in the whole body. Wholesome vitality. Let's bring our experience back to the chair. Now, as we sit, you might like to have your eyes closed just to feel your connection with the ground, with the earth, to feel your spine. To feel the feelings and sensations in the body. And then without changing the way you're seeing, Open your eyes. Your awareness or your attention is with the feelings and sensations and we let the breath merge with the feelings and sensations, touch the feelings and sensations. Maybe you have feelings and sensations all over your body. In that case, as you inhale, let the breath reach every part of your body. Refreshing and renewing.
Bring your experience joyfully to the standing position. And just to finish today's session and the eight sessions of Ways to Wellbeing, we'll do an exercise called Body Alertness. So we'll bring bringing movement and awareness and breath together. And also that knee bend we've been practicing over the last few weeks. I'll just show you maybe first how it works very quickly. As we inhale, we'll bring our hands up. And as we exhale, the head and the body, the chest stay still, just the arms move out to the side. So to the left side, this arm is straight. This arm is at the same height, the elbow bends in front of us. Inhaling back to the center, exhaling to the other side. This arm straight, this arm bends across the front, my chest and head staying still. Back to the center. So we're coordinating the movement with the breath. The body is straight and well balanced, the belly relaxing, head and chest still, one arm bending at the elbow, exhaling going out, inhaling coming back. Three, two, one. Inhaling, hands coming up. Coordinate the movement with the inhale. Exhaling to the left. Reach to the left. Inhaling to the center. Exhaling to the right. Reach to the right. Inhaling to the center. To the left, exhale, as if your hands are skimming across the surface of water, looking straight ahead, inhaling center, head and chest stay still, belly relaxing, exhaling to the right, inhaling to the center. Final time to the left. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling, hands coming down to our side. Being still without holding still. So we're physically still, but we're fully alive. going to repeat body alertness but with a little twist we're going to as we exhale arms going out to the side we're also going to bend the knees inhaling straightening exhaling bend the knees inhaling straightening it's going to be great three two one, inhaling, exhaling to the right with a bend, back is vertical, just the knees bending, inhaling, legs straighten, 
Exhaling to the right as we bend the knees. Inhaling to the center. Exhale to the left and bend. Just the knees. Inhaling to the center. Legs straightening. Exhaling to the right. Legs bending, knees bending. Inhaling to the center. Now for the last time, we'll make the breaths longer, slower. Exhaling to the left. Inhaling to the center. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling long to the right, knees bending. Inhaling long to the center. Exhaling hands down. Our experience back to the chair. Being still without holding still. So there is a movement in the stillness. But the movement does not change the stillness. We're very grounded, centered. yet open. Free, maybe we're free. One more minute. If you have your eyes closed, try opening your eyes.
Okay, thank you very much. Maybe I'll end with a quote from Bob Dylan. Goodbye is too big a word, so I'll just say fare thee well. <laughs> thank you very much. It's been a pleasure.